wasn't able to play against Pitt, thought my whole team was going to be able to play and me and six other guys weren't. That really stuck with me and kind of hurt me a lot and put me in a bad spot. Hey, masks on! Before you head aside, get your masks on. I was told that we weren't going to play them, it was heartbreaking. I promise you I cried. But... Last week we were heartbroken when we heard the news. We were literally about to load the bus. Then not only were six guys able to play, but the whole team wasn't. And so that was even a bigger bummer because we weren't even able to play them overall because of the smoke. And that was a big game. That was a big game. A whole lot of stars would have been on that field. I was so excited for that. I mean, I know I worked all summer for it, and we all did. We all worked all summer for it, but we just had to move on. We've been grinding this week, preparing for Pally for seven days straight. We got all of our COVID players back. We're still waiting on some people like Tiger is the Ryan Silver is coming back on a concussion, and Joey is still coming back off of a torn ACL. But when we have a full team, I think we're going to be scary this year. I'm coming back for the league. I'll be back for the league too. Yeah, we already, you already know who the injured one for They're lucky I'm not playing. Me and Tiger, we've been in that Duke's room, baby. Yeah. Tiki Lounge. We definitely have some really good players that are engaged. It's one thing to have great players and great talent, but if they're not engaged and they don't really care, then that shows up too. Oh, want to add? Got to model the game after him, you know? Playing him right now. Here's the baseball field. Let's go. Torn meniscus, so I just been doing rehab and all that, working on it. Had a couple family issues. Shout out to Coach, you know he helped. He been talking to me, Coach Ortiz, Coach Bell, all the coaching staff, Miss Ortiz. They've been helping me out. I'm coming back, so I'm thankful that they got me back out here to do my thing. You know? Football is an expression. It can be an expression of things that are going well, things that are going bad, things in your life. And I've been in the shadows. I've been in the shadows all my three years, but I finally coming out the shadow. That's why football is so important to kids. Oh God, to get you on the yeah! It's so important to America. It's like so important to Sarah. Yes, sir! You ready? Really yeah! 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 Come on, go Tom. Go Tom. Go Tom. Hey, seven one. Go Tom. Get that loaded. Everybody clap. Get that loaded. Ready to hit. Let's get it. Let's go. Love y'all. You almost beat him? No, I almost beat him. Almost beat Cam? A long time ago. I scored a call, huh? No, no, no. I mean, we didn't play. I'm talking about he won National Juco Player of the Year, and I was the runner up. He was at Berlin Junior College. Yeah. We played Juco, see me? Eagle don't want it, he's scared. <laughs> Here's the best. JT, bounce pass. This is my favorite. I think that the most lethal teams are the ones that are the most talented, that are humble enough, and willing to put in the work at all times. And I think so far I've seen that. And hopefully we can we can continue to build on that as the season gets tougher and tougher, heading into WCAL and Happy Bay and all that stuff. Pass that jumper text on me. Ready to begin.
Yeah, the energy was up. Felt really good to get out here and offense was rolling, defense was making hella stops. There was so much pent up energy and frustration, all the things that we've been going through. And You know, we were excited. We came out head on. Senior, we started off the season pretty good. I don't think anyone would have expected anything different inside the, the, the locker room about how we came out, the energy that we had, the enthusiasm, and you know, hopefully we can capture that and do it every week. It's hard to do, I tell you. It's hard to do, but I was not surprised by the, the way, how fast we play, the enthusiasm, and you know, how hard we hit and that sort of stuff. I, I kind of expected that tonight. O-line did a great job of blocking defense, played great the whole first half. We got our um, bottom of the fire in this game, so that was that's always great to see. You know, with Joseph and Malachi back there as safeties, it's, you know, those are two really, really good players. You know, it, it was a collective effort on defense for sure. You got skinny Vaughn Jones over here, CNA with the pick six. Y'all gonna probably gonna see it. I just saw it. I took my opportunity and I had to house it. That's all. He's been talking about getting the pick six since last year, man. He worked super hard this offseason, man. He wanted to score offense, didn't get the opportunity to do that, but um, he capitalized on defense. That was great to see. Hey, you two, come here. The, the, the pass throw is not going to hold up, and if you wrap, that's right in his face. That's a sack. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's try and do it. don't know already defensive coordinator coach Mons he knows everything he's literally like Madden he knows literally everything in practice he gives us all the answers to the test all the quizzes we need and the game is the test we had basically only like three calls on defense that we ran and we all executed them Joe Bay especially he was filling his gaps covering his receivers that were on him he was in his bubble he was in his mode Hey, number one D in NorCal. Number one D in NorCal. Look the ball in first. Look the ball in first. I thought it was a little too far. You're good. You're chilling. You're too fast for that. I want one of those too. I want one of those too. Before that clock says zero, I want one of those too. Tell him, hey, you would have caught that. I G O D. You would have caught that. I scored on a fly sweep, perfect blocking, perfect setup. I didn't even have to do that much. Then I scored on a corner post. It was a great ball by Dom, great pass protection, and um, a bubble. And that was great blocking from uh, my boy Sheamus in the uh, whiteout. It was fun to come out here and play. But I, work, I noticed that not only me, but the whole line in general needs a lot of stuff to work on. And we're going to be doing that this week. And we're going to be focused on those little knickknacks that we need to fix. And we're going to come back stronger for um, Half Moon Band. How many touchdowns you got? I got it. I threw one that I ran with. You know, Hassan had like three touchdowns. Dom had one. Uh, so uh, it was pretty much, you know, I was pretty happy to see them get their tug. You know, they deserve it. You know, they work hard uh, over the summer. So... But you know, as soon as I seen him coming in, it was electrifying. I just saw him take off and I knew what was going to happen. House call. It feels great because uh, we know we, we always got Dom's back and we always got to protect him. It feels good knowing that uh, he's not going to get touched. I'm running. I'm about to go block the safety. I just see him running down the field. I'm like, oh, someone's going. So they finna score. So I go block for my boy Dom. He gets the touchdown. I see his excitement because that's my dogs out there. That's my guy. So, you know, it was exciting for us to block for them. He hasn't scored a long touchdown like that in a minute, so um, it was great to see that happen. You know, he wanted to always showcase his speed and stuff. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, sir! Let me know! That's what I like! That's what I like! How many yards is that? Oh, I was like 60 something, yes, sir! Hey, that's that track check! That's that track check!
Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I love my defense and I'm ready for them and then, uh, I was so proud of them everybody stayed locked in throughout the week maybe some little mishaps but you know we knew what we had to come to do and we just showed on I showed in the first half and uh, my bottom of the fire just a little bit of work but you know I'm so happy that we got to have them come in and, and get some playing time they, they play a big part of the team you know it's the only way I'm gonna get better than my brothers were you know coming out from the bottom. But uh, I do it for this lady right here, you know. What's that? My mom, you know, she passed away in 2017, pancreatic cancer. When I got that sack, you know, it just, it just bring that feeling. I like, meant a lot. Sawani Ciolo Dub has just been through so much in his life and, you know, to see him get a sack and... It feel great, you know. Like, it's just this feeling that I can't really explain it, but do it for my mom, the rest of the peace my mom, all my loved ones. You know, he's been through so much in his life, and you know, this is what you know, this is what the game's all about. But this is what Padre football's all about. So, seeing that collectively on defense was was fun to see. Fourteen games is what we're looking for. We looking to end in December. do is keep working, work on the negatives, try to get less negative, try to get the positive, you know what I'm saying? Go State. Be playing in December. That's always the goal. Get to that state game. But yeah, you're going to go to state. Best believe it. Very important, guys. Very important. We leave tonight. We talked about in chapel last night with humility, with respect for our opponent. Okay, we don't taunt or that. That's not us. Okay, fair enough. It's our brotherhood prayer. We say with love, we say with humility, our Father. Thank you, Hey, uh, one more thing. I'll see you Monday! Yeah!